Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. You guys know the number one rule of fitness is never miss a Monday workout. Today, I'm going to give you guys a great workout along with my team. We're going to be doing a red diamond programming. Okay, so for at home, you guys at home joining us, all you guys need is some dumbbells, not only for your legs, your shoulders, your biceps, maybe a platform or a, um, a chair at home. So if you guys have it, if you don't, no worries. We will make sure we make those modifications for you. I am Coach Michelle. I'm with my awesome team here. I got other Coach Michelle. This is the other Michelle. I got Coach Ashley and Coach Chris. So you guys ready for an awesome workout? We're going to be doing some strength. We're going to be doing some resistance. We're going to be adding in cardio movements to get that heart rate up. I promise you guys, you guys are going to get a great workout at home. Okay, so with that said, the timing is going to be four different timing variables for each exercise for strength and cardio. Once you guys complete your four sets, we're going to move on to that next station. We've got nine total stations, and I will walk you guys through this at home. So don't you worry. You guys don't have to remember a whole lot. I'll walk you through. With that said, my coach, Michelle, right here is going to be our demo. Okay, so for exercise number one, we're going to grab those dumbbells and we're going to do some step ups. Okay, so with that platform, we're going to drive through the heel, really engaging that backside, the hamstrings and glutes. We're going to alternate sides. Again, we're going to do this for 45 seconds of work for that first set. And then we're going to go ahead and drop it down five seconds each round. Okay, so as your workload decreases, your, um, your recovery time increases. The cardio movement for this one is going to be jump lunges. Okay, so nice and light on those toes, making sure those knees stay stacked right above those heels. Okay. If you guys want a lower impact option, we go ahead and we step it back. Okay, so that is exercise number one. For exercise number two, we're gonna go ahead and do a squat and a bicep curl. Okay, so compound movement, a lot of muscles being worked here, quads, hamstrings, glutes, chest is up, uh, core is engaged. We're gonna keep those elbows nice and close as we bring the weights up to the shoulders. Your cardio movement with this, as we drop those dumbbells, we're gonna go into those squat jumps. Heavy heels, lighten the toes. Again, we're keeping that chest up, keeping that core engaged, lower impact option. We're gonna go ahead and keep the feet on the ground as we sit it back. Notice Michelle, again, is keeping that chest up the entire time. Exercise number three, we got a reverse lunge. Okay, so reverse lunge, we're gonna go front raise. So when you're choosing your dumbbells, you're choosing a quarter, according to your shoulder. Notice we're stepping it back again. Knees stays tracked above those heels. Michelle's bringing those weights up to the shoulders, no higher to really keep it out of the traps, working the delts. Shoulders staying stacked right above those heels. Your cardio exercise. We got a pop squat here. Okay, so we're going to start with the feet together. We're going to jump it out. Again, that chest is up as we get that heart rate up nice and line on those toes. Low impact option. We can die. stay low and step it out side to side. Nice job, Michelle. We're going on to station four. We got dumbbell burpees. Okay, so you're going to choose according to your shoulders on this one. Dumbbell burpees. We're going to come down to the ground. The back is flat. You can add in the push-up if you want. You can also drop it down to your knees. Notice her palms are in that neutral grip. Shoulders as she jumps or steps those feet back is gonna be um, in that neutral grip. The cardio exercise, we're gonna go broad jumps. Okay, so you guys can go ahead and jump it forward. Nice line on those toes, walk it back. Notice the chest is up, the chin is up. Always listening to your body at home. If something doesn't feel right, don't do it. Awesome job, Michelle. Station five, we're gonna bring it down to the mat. Here's your chance to go a little bit heavier on those dumbbells as we really activate those glutes. Legs are gonna be about shoulder width. Notice Michelle's got the heavy weight as she comes up. She's squeezing, nice, slow, controlled on the way down. Notice her shoulders, her neck support on that mat, keeping that spine in that neutral alignment, perfect form. The cardio exercise, we're gonna go side shuffles here okay so working on some lateral coordination and agility we can pick up that tempo if you guys want a little bit more or slow it down again listening to your body at home station number six station six we're going to go ahead and grabbing those dumbbells we're going to lay it back again we're going to keep the shoulders and the neck support on the mat notice the weights are right above the chest hands are stacked above those shoulders bringing the legs up to the dumbbells nice slow control on the way down as michelle's working that upper that lower core you guys want more challenge don't let those heels touch the cardio exercise we drop those weights we flip it around we go right into those mountain climbers okay so again hands underneath the shoulders that back is flat driving the knees nice and light on those toes and station seven staying in that position michelle we go right into those push-ups simple effective here the back is flat El michelle's keeping her elbows nice and close hitting a little bit more into those triceps squeezing those glutes option dropping it down to the knees and then simple and effective here comes your cardio we go jumping jacks right here up on those feet here we go star jumps <laughs> We call them jumping jacks in America. Nice and light on those toes. Low impact option. You guys can step it out side to side. Station eight. Are you guys ready for this? 
Here comes your core blast for today. I'm going to tell you guys right now at home, you are welcome. Michelle's on all fours, making sure the knees are stacked underneath the hips. Opposite arm extending out, opposite leg. Really squeezing here. Again, maintaining that back flat as we work on that balance. You guys are alternating, and then we go right into your cardio, which is inchworms. You ready for this, Michelle? Here we go. Walking it out. And maintaining that back flat, reaching forward, walking it back up to that standing position, resetting. Final station, your last one, station nine. We got sprinter sit-ups. Here we go, sprinter sit-ups. We're gonna come up, reaching for that foot. Notice that knee about 90 degrees as she's engaging that upper lower core. You guys are gonna be burning at home on this one. So then we're gonna go right into bicycles. Okay, so think about it, four sets on that core, building up your core to protect that spine. Thank you, Michelle, for that awesome demo. Are you guys ready at home to get started with that warm-up? Grab your towel, grab your sweat towel, your water, everything you need. We're gonna get you guys going on that warm-up. Here we go, guys. Team, are you guys ready? Let's go, let's go. We got high knees with the butt kick. We're gonna go six and six, bringing those knees up, nice line on those toes, right into those butt kicks. Here we go, one of my favorite warm-ups, hip mobility nice job team nice job getting those hips warmed up and we're going into a squat and then we're going to go into a twist okay so we're going to warm up that spine remember on your squat your chest is up you're sitting in the back heavy heels light in the toes we got five seconds right here team all right bringing it down to the ground let's go ahead and stretch out those adductors your feet are on the ground stretching out that groin Going side to side, keeping that chest up right here, you guys. Four seconds. All right, here we go. 10 mountain climbers, we got three push-ups. Hands are gonna be stacked underneath those shoulders. Notice Chris's form here, keeping that back flat. Ladies in the back, I'll be walking through any modifications you guys may need at home, so stay tuned for those mods. All right, on our backs, you guys, we're gonna go twist in here. We're gonna stretch out that lumbar spine. You guys know as we're twisting, we're warming up the spine. It is also a detox anytime we're twisting. Three seconds, team. And here we go, warming up those glutes. Coming up and squeeze, nice, slow, controlled on the way down. Nice job, team, nice job. Four seconds. Got a great workout for you guys at home. Here we go, tuck those knees. We're gonna roll to the shoulders. As you guys come down, we're gonna sprawl those legs out, really stretching out those hamstrings. We got five seconds. All right, guys, up on those feet. Here we go, fast feet. We go wide to narrow, nice and light on those toes. Training like athletes today. Four seconds. And here we go, last one, 20 seconds. We got jump squats. If this doesn't feel good on the knees at home, make sure you guys take the jump out and sit it back into those heels. Really working those quads, those hamstrings, and those glutes. Team, we got five seconds. All right, team, nice job, nice job. All right, you guys, here we go. At home, looks like this. 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds to recover. Then we go into your cardio movement, 40, 20, back to strength for 35, 25, finishing with your cardio, 30, 30. Getting ready for those step ups. Grab those heavier dumbbells. Remember at home, your legs are bigger muscles. More calorie burn can handle more challenging dumbbells. Stepping it up. We got 45 seconds of work right here. You guys are alternating sides, keeping your shoulders stacked right above those hips, keeping that core engaged. Nice job, team, nice job. We got 25 seconds right here. Aaron joining us over there in the corner. I love it. 15 seconds, team, starting to burn just a bit. So remember, at home, you guys are gonna drop those dumbbells once I call time, and we're gonna go right into jump lunges. Five seconds, you guys, and we're going into those jump lunges. Okay, take 15 seconds to recover, get set, drop those weights. Here comes your body weight exercise. Gonna get that heart rate up. So if you're wearing a heart rate monitor at home, this is when we're gonna get a little bit more uncomfortable to get that maximum calorie burn. All right, team, here we go. Here comes 40 seconds of those jump lunges. Okay, so for anybody at home that's dealing with uh, shin splints, maybe plantar fasciitis, or it just isn't feeling right and you don't have it in you today, that's okay. 
listen to your body, step it back. The most important is making sure that knees stay tracked right above that heel. 20 seconds, focus on that breathing. Perfect on that form, team. You're welcome. Okay, so start getting the mind right here. You're gonna use your strength as your active recovery, letting that heart rate come down. We got five more seconds. Three, two, one, grab those dumbbells. You guys hear your recovery. You got 15 seconds. Let the heart rate come down. I see you, Cat, at home. We miss you, Cat, in the studio. Happy Monday, my friend. <laughs> All right, team, you guys ready? Back to those step ups. Heart rates have come down just a bit. We go right back to work. Working on that backside. Working on a little bit of coordination here. You guys don't, you don't realize how long 40 seconds is, especially when you're lifting those heavy dumbbells. For you guys that don't know what's going on back here, Ashley and Michelle are having a full on conversation talking about the rest of their day. <laughs> All right, guys, drop those dumbbells. Here we go, 30 seconds. We're gonna go right back into those jump lunges. Once we finish this, we move on to exercise two. Heart rates come down. I'm not sure if my team's gonna love me after this workout. Not sure we're gonna be friends. 10 seconds, you guys, get ready. How we doing, Chris? We are good? Never been better. Chris is saying to you guys at home, he loves jump lunges. Amy Galley, happy Monday, my friend. Thank you for joining here. Nice and light on those toes. Perfect, team. Ten o'clock Wednesday, we're going to be doing some workouts, PE, for the children that are at home. So parents, we're going to give you a little bit of a break as we burn off some energy with the little ones. Four seconds, team. Three, two, and one. Rest. Getting ready for exercise number two. For a reminder at home, we're going to go squat and bicep curl. So when you're choosing your dumbbells, you're choosing according to your guns. If you don't have dumbbells at home, you guys can use soup cans laundry detergent, a backpack, whatever it is that you guys have. Take advantage of the rest, team. Rest is best. <laughs> the most important when you guys are thinking about your form at home, squatting. Again, we're sitting it back. Heavy heels, lighten the toes. Go to work. Here we go. Elbows stay nice and close. Nice, slow, controlled on the way down, coming out of that bicep curl. A lot of muscles being worked here. We call this a compound movement. The more muscles you get involved into one exercise, the more effective your workout, the more efficient, the higher your calorie burn. We're working right now, buns and guns, 20 seconds. We're still smiling back here. That tells me that Michelle and I are still friends. Ashley and I are still friends. <laughs> you don't have a choice. <laughs> we got eight seconds. Eight seconds, we're gonna go into that cardio movement, which is squat jumps. Again, if today's not your day to jump, listen to your body. Here we go, guys. Drop those weights. Let the heart rate come down. 15 seconds to recover right into that cardio movement. Natalie Hill, what's up, girl? Happy Monday. Looking forward to seeing you guys back in the studio very soon. We miss you here at Chandler South. All right, let's go. I miss you guys at home. We love you guys. This is why we're here doing this for you. Representing Chandler South, representing Tempe South, and soon to be opening Santan Village. Heart rates are up. Remember, to see change, you guys at home got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. If it's comfortable, it means that we need to step it up a notch. 12 seconds, team. You guys know that white boys can jump. Chris is a prime example of that. Three, two, and one. Let's let those heart rates come down. How are we feeling? Air elbows, air high fives. We want to see your screens at home. We want to see who's logging in with us. Okay, we're going to go back to that squat and bicep curl. Rihanna Miles, hey, happy Monday. Nice, buns and guns right here. Slowing it down, focus on the breathing, sitting it back. If you're feeling this in your knees at home, 
make a couple of adjustments, coming back to that athletic stance, sit it back, hinge the hips back, weight is distributed back into the heels. Want to give a shout out to Heather. Heather, what's going on? Also want to give a shout out to Danielle in Florida, who is down 70 pounds doing these workouts and keeping her nutrition in line. Because I'm making a mental note, Heath. All right, you guys, get ready for that last cardio. Back to those squat jumps. Yes. I got a whole list. Kelly and Bob joining us as well. Helen, Bree, and Mel. Missing you guys. <laughs> Send us videos and make sure, make sure you uh, tag us and hashtag the studios. All right, guys, here we go. Let's get those heart rates right back up. Nice job, Aaron, over there, getting some hops in. So you guys know this workout, a hybrid of both, not only strength building muscle and getting that heart rate up. Your heart is a muscle as well. We never want to forget our hearts. Almost there. Should be feeling that burn, team. And rest. You guys ready to move on? All right, here we go at home. We're going into those reverse lunges to a front raise. Most important, making sure palms stay down. Hands don't go any higher than the shoulders, keeping the chest up, chin up. Reverse lunge, front raise, choosing your dumbbells according to your shoulders. Your second movement is going to be that pop squat. Starting with your feet together, keeping the chest up. Why not those legs? Working on some coordination. All right, team, here we go. You guys can do it from the side. Show our members at home, there you go, perfect. Keeping that core engaged, keeping your shoulders stacked right above your hips. If anybody has any shoulder limitations at home, guess what? Take out the front raise, work on the legs. We got less than 30 seconds. Matt Case is in the house, what's up Matt? Are we gonna be friends after all this? I hope so. We got 13 seconds. Nice job, team. Nice job. All right, dropping those dumbbells. Okay, so now we're going to go into that body weight exercise. If you guys want more strength at home and want to eliminate the cardio movement here, stay low, pulse, keep that chest up. Here comes your cardio team. Let's go. Chest is up, chin is up. Team Kinsinger, Ashley saying, what's up? We love all of our members. Okay, so we got less than 30 seconds. We're working on that coordination. Did you guys know at home, if we don't practice coordination, balance, all those things, as we age, it will go with time. Practice makes progress. Seven seconds, team. Three, two, one. Take advantage. Let that heart rate come down. Start thinking about that 35 seconds of work. Back to strength. We still friends? Yes, we're so far. So far, we're still friends. Okay, so back to that reverse lunge. Back to that front raise. All right, team, here we go. Stepping it back in three, two, one. Let's go. How are we doing at home? You guys good? I want to see some thumbs up. I want to see you guys screenshotting your workout, screenshotting your calorie burn after this one. Making sure that knee stays over that heel. Always want to make sure on a reverse lunge you find that stability first before we add in the mobility. We got 10 seconds. Nice job, Michelle. Nice job, Ashley. Chris looking good. Looking good at home as well. Three, two, one, drop those dumbbells. Here comes 30 seconds, getting that heart rate right back up. Oh, we got some dance moves over here. Let's see it, Chris. Chris is being shy for the camera today. What's up? <laughs> he's trying to breathe at home. So if he's feeling it, I know you guys are too. All right, guys, here comes that cardio in three, two, and one, let's go. Look at that quick feet. We got some athletes over here in the house. 
we are halfway at home. We got 15 seconds to go. Don't stop. Remember, when it starts to get uncomfortable, this is where you see change. You keep going. You keep moving. Get the mind right. Chris is in the zone. Three, two, one. Time. Let that heart rate come down. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Okay, we're going to move on. At home, I'm going to tell you guys right now, you're welcome. We're going right into those dumbbell burpees. So again, the most important with your dumbbell selection is making sure that you guys can bring those weights overhead. Again, if shoulders aren't for you today, eliminate the shoulder, the press at the top, and right into the burpee. Second exercise is going to be that broad jump. Okay, so power forward, and then a uh, monster walk back. We still got 30 seconds, so you guys at home, grabbing that hydration. Take advantage of the recovery. Grab water if you need it. Towel off. It's kind of nice to have a little bit of break. Take it, always. What we're doing through this type of a workout is classic interval training. So we get the heart rate up, we use strength to let it come down, and those intervals, high calorie burn, the fastest way to strengthen the heart, burning the most amount of calories. All right, guys, here we go, into those burpees. Take your time, Aaron, take your time. <laughs> Aaron just got called out on, on live. So if you guys aren't feeling the power of a burpee, you guys can eliminate the push-up. You can step the feet back and step them forward to avoid the impact. Okay, so again, finding what option is best for you. We got 20 seconds. These workouts are for meant for all fitness levels. Don Johnson, hey, what's up, girl? I miss you. We got 10 seconds. Perfect on those push-ups, ladies, back here. Three, two, and one. Drop those dumbbells. Again, our broad jumps. We jump it forward, we keep the chest up, back, up, and then we step it back. Those burpees will get that heart rate up too. All good, Aaron? All right, you guys at home, let's go. Holy moly, don't take me out, Chris. Stay low as you guys are stepping it back. Chest is up, eyes are forward. Wanna make sure we're always keeping that chin up. Nice, Ashley, look at those hops. I feel like you guys were frogs in your former life. <laughs> frogs in your former life. We got 15 seconds, team. How are we doing at home? After the first three sets, you guys should be feeling those legs right now. We got five seconds. Nice job, Chris, nice job. And rest. Uh, the frog that turned into a prince, that's Chris right here. <laughs> The good thing is, is during all this crazy time, we still all have our sense of humor. We still smile. We got five seconds. We're going back to those burpees. All right, guys, let's go. The one thing you want to make sure at home, never compromise your form, especially as you're starting to feel more and more fatigued. So if you need to, take some breaks, reset, and then come back to it. 20 seconds, team. Nice. We got eight seconds. Start thinking about that cardio at home. We're coming right back to it. You're going to have 25 seconds to recover. Nice job. Nice job. That's time right there. 25 seconds. Let that heart rate come down. We go right back into it. You guys ready for those broad jumps? At home, we got 10 seconds. You're feeling the music, Michelle. <laughs> All right, team, let's go. We got 30 seconds right here. <laughs> At home, we're listening to push up right now, salt and pepper. So Julie Lentz, this is for you, 90s throwbacks. Keeping that chest up. We got 10 seconds. Give me 10 seconds and then you guys get that recovery. Keeping that same focus, you guys, staying in the moment, working hard, not stopping. Three, two, one, rest. Are you guys glad to be done with those burpees? 
Okay, so at home, we're gonna come down to the mat. We're gonna grab that heavy dumbbell or two. We're gonna place it at the hips. Here's our chance to really work the posterior chain, engaging those glutes. Okay, so we're gonna go into those hip thrusters. Your cardio movement is gonna be side shuffles. Eight seconds, team. Legs are about shoulder width. Remember, your shoulders, your neck are on the mat, keeping your spine in that neutral alignment. All right, let's go, team. 45 seconds. Come up, squeeze. Pause at the top for a second. Slow, controlled on the way down. Michelle, Ashley, let me know if you guys want me to come sit on you for this one. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Again, nice, slow, controlled on the way down. Come up, pause. <laughs> I won't tell you at home what they're saying back here. <laughs> what happens in the studio stays in the studio. We got 15 seconds. We're starting to burn. Remember my famous saying, if it's burning, it's working. Five seconds, team. Give me two more. Three, two, one. Nice job, team. Let's go ahead and drop that dumbbell. We're going to come back up to that uh, standing position. Side shuffles, okay, so we're working on that lateral coordination. You never want to make sure that your feet are ever crossing over each other. We keep that chest up. We're going to take about three steps to the side, uh, right, three steps to the left. Nice, you guys, nice. At home, it's your choice whether you guys want to pick up the pace or if you want to slow it down to add more strength, and the most important is just keeping that chest up. If space is an option, again, you guys, Making sure, maybe even going just one to the right, one to the left, or two steps to the right, two steps to the left. We got 15 seconds. Heart rates are up. Nice job, Aaron. Three, two, and one. That's time. Okay, so we let those heart rates come down. We grab those heavy dumbbells. We come back to the mat. We come back to those hip thrusters. Is that enough weight for you there, Ashley? I, I'm calling her out, you guys. You're hearing it at home. There we go. Peer pressure right there at its finest. Michelle's got three. Most important is keeping that tempo, keeping that time under tension as we're working that backside. We got 18 seconds. Are we burning? Nice. As you can tell, this workout is all about full body, making the most of our short period of time that we have here. Five seconds, team, give me two more reps. Well done, well done, let's go drop those weights. Coming back up to our feet, here comes your 30 seconds of work, getting that heart rate right back up. Taking advantage of the recovery, we got less than 15 seconds at home. All right, here come those side shuffles. Getting ready for it. In three, two, and one. Let's go. Look at that Division I college athlete right here, Chris. For you guys at home, Chris was a college baseball player. 15 seconds. You guys, once you're done with this, we are done with those exercises. We move on. Nice job, nice job. All right, you guys, here we go. We're gonna go into that last set before your next hydration break. We have got dumbbell leg lifts. Okay, so we're gonna take, again, those dumbbells right above the chest for stability. We're gonna bring the legs up as we engage that core. Most important is to draw the belly button in to make sure that there's no arch in the spine, okay? We got eight seconds. Your cardio, dropping the dumbbells. We're gonna flip it over. We go right into those mountain climbers. Okay, so again, Ashley, perfect form right here. Weights are stacked right above her chest. She's bringing her legs up, really engaging that core. If you notice, with all three of my teammates right here, not one is letting their heels touch as they come right back up. So again, we're keeping that time under tension as we're working into that core. Starting to burn. You guys know you're, the nucleus of your body is your core, the only thing protecting the spine. So remember that as you want to give up. Don't give up. We got 15 seconds, team. If you notice, Chris's shoulders are lifted up. He's actually getting a little bit more into the upper core as he's doing this. He's also adding in 
a chest press. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Nicely done, you guys. Let's go ahead and drop those dumbbells. Take advantage of the break. We're going to flip it over. When you guys go into your mountain climbers, you want to make sure, again, your hands are stacked underneath the shoulders. What I don't want to see is butts in the air. As butts come up in the air, you lose the core stability, puts more pressure into the shoulders and the traps, keeping that back perfectly flat right here. If you guys need to at home, you guys can slow the tempo down. Or if you guys want more cardio to get the heart rate up, we pick up the pace. So that's your choice. You guys don't realize how tough 40 seconds of work is until you do an exercise like this. Awesome job, team. We got 15 seconds. Stay with it at home, you guys. Don't give up. Eight seconds. Nice and light on those toes. Three, two, and one. Nice job, nice job. We love mountain climbers. It's tough. This combination is not easy. We got 10 seconds. Again, we're going to go back to that strength. You got 35 seconds of work at home. All right, guys, that clock is going right here. Back to work. Nice, slow, controlled. Focus on the breathing as we recover from that last cardio. Well done, well done. Again, not letting those heels touch. If you want that little extra challenge at home, we got 12 seconds. Nice, Ashley, Chris, awesome, looking good over here. Michelle, slowing that tempo even more. That core is on fire right here, guys. She's feeling that for sure. Three, two, one, awesome, awesome. 25 seconds to recover. We flip it back around. We go right back into those mountain climbers. Here come those mountain climbers, you guys. 30 seconds. You at home. You guys can do anything for 30 seconds. Got 10 seconds. Are you guys ready? This is it, you guys. Your last set, and then you have that hydration at home. Let's go. You guys want that hydration break? You got to earn it first. 20 seconds of work. Finishing up pod two right now. This is it. We got eight seconds. Nice job, Ashley. Sticking with it. Michelle, Chris, all the way through. In three, two, one time. Rest. Well done at home, you guys. That was no joke, that block. Go ahead and grab that water. Let the heart rates come down. Towel off. Come right back to it. We got less than a minute. Your next exercise for station seven Simple, effective to work the chest. We're going push-ups. Okay, option at home. If you need to, drop it down to your knees. What I don't want to see is butts in the air. We want to make sure, again, that core stays stabilized. Chest all, always comes down, touches the ground, comes right back up. Your cardio, going right into those jumping jacks. You guys ready? Mel at home, I want to give you a shout out. I know you're working hard right now, but you'll be watching this tonight. You guys ready? We got about 15 seconds. Again, simple and effective doesn't mean this exercise is easy by any means. We got push-ups coming your way. All right, here we go, guys. Your push-ups starting in three, two, and one. Here comes your longest block at home. We got 45 seconds of work. Keeping that back flat, awesome. Again, for any mods at home, dropping it down to the knees. If you notice, Chris, chest coming all the way down. Michelle, Ashley, awesome. Again, chest hitting the ground. Maintaining that back flat. If you guys want to isolate the triceps a little bit more, elbows stay nice and close to the rib cage. Still maintaining that back flat. We got 20 seconds. We're starting to burn right now. Get the mind right at home. When it starts to get uncomfortable, we don't quit. We keep going. Eight seconds. And three, two, and one. Let's go and bring it back up to our feet. We're going to go into those jumping jacks. Also called star, star jumps. Star jumps. Michelle's dancing over here. Let's see if she's dancing after this next set of push-ups. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. 40 seconds of work. 
You want to take out the impact at home? We could step it out side to side. Nice and light on those toes. I don't know about you guys, but I love jumping jacks. Nice and light on those toes. Calves are working hard too, too as well. We are more than halfway. Ten seconds, you guys. Stay with me. Don't give up. You're going to get a little bit of a break here as we go back into that next strength station. Three, two, one. Awesome job. Awesome job. Coming back down to the mat, we're going to go back to those push-ups. You got 15 seconds to let the heart rate come down. And at home, I hope you guys are taking those breaks, okay? So you guys know keeping the heart rate up the whole entire time is not necessarily the most effective way to train the body. We allow those breaks. We allow those recoveries. We go right back to work. We got 35 seconds on the clock for you guys at home. If we start to feel like, again, we're compromising that form, drop it down to your knees. Perfect on that form, team. Keeping it up. We got 20 seconds. You got it, Chris. You got it. Ten seconds. Ten seconds, you guys. Stay with me. Three, two, and one. That's time. Let's go and take that break. We're going to go back to those jumping jacks one more time. Are you guys feeling challenged? Yeah, there's feeling challenged back here. Should I say you're welcome? You are welcome, my friends. We got ten seconds. Going back to those jumping jacks. Remember, we've only got 30 seconds of work for the set, and then we're done, we move on. All right, here we go, team, 30 seconds. So for you guys at home, the whole point of these workouts is to keep you guys accountable, to show you guys that we love you, we want the whole world to be doing these workouts. So share them with people. Again, everybody's welcome to jump in on these workouts with us. We are our one big happy fit family around here. Three, two, one, time. Nice job, team, nice job. Air high fives. Okay, we're on to exercise number eight. Okay, here comes your core blast at home. We're gonna go bird dogs. If you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more, you guys can do this from the toes. If you guys want to, obviously more stability is bringing it down into that tabletop position. Making sure the hands are underneath the shoulders, making sure the knees are stacked underneath those hips. Bird dogs, opposite arm, opposite leg. Let's go. 45 seconds here. Chris is showing, obviously, the more advanced option. Actually, all three of my trainers are doing all advanced. Michelle dropped it down for you guys at home to show you how you guys can do this with a little bit more stability. The tricep is acting as a stabilizer. As opposite arm, opposite leg coming out, we're really engaging the glute while we're maintaining that back flat. If you guys are doing it from the toes, the most important is keeping your hips square with the mat, no opening up the hips to lose that core stability. This exercise is no joke. Well done, team. Well done. We got 12 seconds. Your cardio to get that heart rate up is going to be inchworms. For the gentlemen that are joining us, if you guys want to add in chest a little bit more on the inchworm, you, as you walk it out, you guys can come down into that push up. Okay, so that's always that option. We got 10 seconds. Again, we've got those inchworms. I know you guys are so excited for this. All right, let's go and walk it out. Walk it out to the point where, again, that back stays flat. Chris is adding in the push-up. Ashley's using it as a way to extend the arm out, forcing the core to work a little bit harder, and then walking it back. Michelle's doing both hands as she's walking it out. So a lot of options here. Nice job, Chris. Nice job. You guys at home, we're down to less than 12 seconds. After this, you guys are going to have 20 seconds to recover. Three, two, one, time. Recover. We're going to go back to those bird dogs. Okay, so if you weren't feeling those bird dogs, think about those modifications if you guys want to make it more challenging. Five seconds at home. Here we go, in three, two, and one, let's go. 
if you guys are on your knees at home in that tabletop position, staying on one side and really uh, fatiguing one side before we move on would take that up a little bit. I'll tell you guys in just a few seconds, if you're staying on one side, that is halfway. Let's go and switch sides. You're going to feel that tricep burn a little bit more if you're staying on that one side. Eight seconds, team. Awesome job. Pausing at the top, really finding that balance. Three, two, one. That's time. Well done, team. Well done. Okay, going back to those inchworms one last time for 30 seconds of work. You guys are making this workout look easy. It's definitely not easy. We know that. Said no one ever. We got eight seconds. Are you with me, team? After this, you guys have one more station. And let's go. 30 seconds on that clock at home. Awesome, Chris. Adding in that push-up. Awesome, awesome. Michelle, making that look easy. Ashley, making that look easy. At home, we got 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. That is time. Nicely done, you guys. Recover. We got 30 seconds to let that heart rate come down. Here comes exercise number nine. A reminder at home. You guys are going to do those sprinter sit-ups. We're going to go right into those bicycles. Okay, so again, we're doing a little bit of a core blast. I promise you're going to be feeling this. We got 12 seconds. So with that sprinter sit-up, you guys want to make sure you're coming all the way up so that knee's about 90 degrees, opposite hand touching opposite foot, engaging upper, lower core, hitting into those obliques. Let's go. Nice, nice. So as we're coming up, you guys, again, we're uh, engaging the upper and lower core. You want to make sure that you're actually physically coming off that mat because here is not going to be the same on the core as here. Are we burning? Woo! It's just starting, my friends, because we're going to be going right into those bicycles. You at home, I know you're burning. The whole goal during this time of uncertainty is to maintain, not gain, right? Just to maintain. Three, two, one. Awesome job, you guys. Now we're going to take the break, but then we're going to go right into the bicycles. With bicycles, you want to make sure you're not pulling on that neck, right? You want to make sure you're lifting the shoulders up, opposite knee, opposite elbow here. If you want to pick up the tempo, you can. Again, we're not pulling. Those elbows are wide. Let's go. This is one of my favorite combinations. It's harder than it looks. 30 seconds, team, right here. Work through that burn. I know you're burning. You guys at home, I know you're burning. One of my favorite songs, Michelle, right here. This reminds me of you. We got 15 seconds. How are we doing at home? Are we still friends? Yes, we are. We got eight seconds. Okay, so remember, after this, we're going to have 20 seconds. We're going to go back to that sprinter sit-up. Three, two, one, rest. Are we still friends, Chris? <laughs> he says we're not friends for the next 45 seconds. So if he's saying that, I know you at home are feeling it as well. All right, guys, here we go. Back to the sprinter sit-ups. Now we're at 35 seconds of work. Let's go, team. Everybody wants those abs of steel. Remember, core strength is built in the gym. Whether we see our abs or not comes down to what we put into our bodies. 80% comes from our nutrition. We got 18 seconds. Starting to burn. What I don't want at home is holding the breath. Make sure you're breathing through this. Five seconds. Three. Two, one. We got one more, you guys. One more last set. 30 seconds of work. We go back to those bicycles. This is it, team. 30 seconds of work. You guys are done. We stretch it out. You're on your way. How are we doing over there, Aaron? We good? How are we doing, Heath? We good? Shout out to Heath. You ready, Ash? All right, guys. Getting ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. Your final set. 30 seconds at home. Let's get it.
We got 20 seconds on that clock. Stay moving, you guys. Get the mind right. The mind wants to give up, right? Don't allow it. Your mind is stronger than your body. Five seconds. You guys at home are done in three, two, and one. That is time. Well done. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Awesome job, team. Let's go some air high fives. Again, you guys know my name is Coach Michelle. I've got Chris, Michelle, and Ashley coming to you live from Chandler South, representing all of us, Tempe South, again, soon to be, opening soon, Santan Village. Thank you for joining us. You guys, we're going to go ahead and slow it down. Let's go ahead and come up to the seated position. You guys know your uh, recovery is just as important as your actual workouts. Now that your muscles are warm, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and slow it down, re-elongate those muscles, allowing oxygen blood flow to get back into the muscles so we can start that healing process. Let's go and bring the left leg in, extending the right leg out. So your right leg, you guys want to make sure it's in line with your right shoulder. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, we come forward. Let's go ahead and stretch out those hamstrings. We worked those legs pretty good, right team? What did you guys think at home? I want to hear it. Did you love it? We work hard. Amazing. Thanks. I appreciate the feedback. Stacy, thanks for chiming in. Yeah, post and tag all of us. You guys, we love seeing your results. We love uh, seeing you guys motiva motivate and inspire others as well. Lindsay, what's up? My sister from another mister. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Bringing that right leg in, extending that left leg out. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, we come forward. Again, you guys, these workouts are not just for our members. Share them with your friends, your family, any of your loved ones that you know could really utilize these workouts. Wednesday at 10 a.m. Wednesday at 10 a.m. Again, reminder that we're going to be doing some workouts for the kids as well. Keeping them moving, burning off that energy. So stay in tune. Now that school's out, we're going to have our own PE around here. Let's go and bring those feet together. Let's go ahead and inhale again, lengthen the spine, exhale. We're gonna let those knees fall wherever they may as we elongate those adductors, open up those hips. I don't know about you guys, but my hips get tight, especially when I work my legs. Yes. How are we doing at home? You guys still with me? Are you guys stretching? Make sure you're stretching. This leads to, uh, helps prevent injury and overuse. Let's go ahead and extend those legs out slowly, one vertebrae at a time. We're gonna go and lay it back onto the mat. And because you guys work so hard, let's go ahead and bring the knees into the chest. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a big hug as we rock side to side, up and down, giving that lumbar spine a nice massage here. And then we're gonna go ahead and keeping the right leg in. We're gonna extend the left leg out. We're gonna go into a little bit of a twist. Okay, so when you work your legs at home, a lot of times you might feel a little tightness in that lower back. We're gonna take that right leg over across the body as we go into that twist. Right arm is out, palm is up. Let's go and take a twist over that shoulder, releasing some of that tension in that lower back. As we're twisting at the spine, it is a detox. You guys heard me say that earlier, and I know a lot of you guys, I see you on social media, are having a little bit more wine consumption than normal. So we are detoxing that spine. Ham, I might be talking to you ladies back here as well. <laughs> and then slowly we come back to the middle. Let's go and switch sides. <laughs> Never. Feels good, right? As we're releasing that tension, twisting. As you were looking over that opposite shoulder, you guys know, again, getting a little bit more into that twist, keeping those shoulders on the mat. And then slowly coming back to the middle, bringing those knees into the chest one more time, giving yourself some love one more time. And then you're gonna rock yourself back up to that seated position. And let's take the hands behind the back. Let's go and open up that chest. Roll the shoulders back. You guys work that chest pretty good with those push-ups. And anytime you're doing any movements that are in that prone position facing down, taking the hands out in front. Let's go and stretch out that back. And then we're gonna take the right hand. We're gonna to touch the back of the neck. We're gonna pull on that elbow. So stretch out the tricep. And then we lean to one side. So lateral flexion of the spine here, stretching out those lats. Just wanna to say to you guys at home, we really do miss you guys. You guys know we do what we do for you guys. We love you, we miss you. We're gonna be seeing you guys soon. So keep the mind right, go ahead and switch sides. 
keep the mind right. Reach out to us trainers if you need it. You guys know we're always here for you. And you guys are done. Awesome job from our team to you guys at home. We love you, miss you, see you soon. Happy Monday.